We recently got a chance to see and spend a few minutes with our mother and father in the faith, brother and sister Kenneth and Gloria Copeland, and uh, they shared some information with us that was so precious and so sweet. In the next few days, we're going to be just rolling some of those clips. We filmed some of it. We didn't film all of it, but we did film some of it. So we're going to let them share some information with you. It's going to be a blessing to you. Yes. So just keep it tuned in the next few days. We're going to have a good time. We're going to do some great Bible study. We love you, and I'll talk to you soon. Now, we were talking earlier about making right choices. Now, there's a difference between desiring to be healed and tired of being sick. There's a lot of people who like to be healed. Sure. They're just tired of being sick. But they don't ever do anything to get healed. There are people praying. You were praying. You're seeking God, reaching out for your healing. You'd made a choice. You said to God, if if you don't do something about this, I'm going to have to quit what I'm doing, and I'm not willing to do that. Yes. Now, I'm, I need to know here. I need to know what to do here. Yes. That's all at that time. You knew how to pray. Mm -hmm. And he met you right where you were. Yes. Cool. Now, the person that has a desire to be well, that's not just being no pain. You can, you can be no pain with enough dope. You can stop the pain, but that ain't being well. That's just not being hurt. But when you have a desire to be well, wellness is to be well, spirit, soul, and body, mm -hmm. and financial. Mm -hmm. you, you're, not, you're not well until you're well financially. That's wellness in God. And you choose to be well. Yes. Now, when you do, you're going to have to start making some choices. Of course. Let's go back to our verse of scripture there and make sure we, we, we know that this is just exactly what God is saying. He said, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have, I have, I've already done this. I have set before you life and death blessing and cursing therefore you choose life and that both you and your seed may live now why would that have such an effect on your children because you're going to teach them how to live yes children grow up learning how to be afraid they learn how to talk from their parents and if your parents don't know how to talk it'll kill you because the power and authority yeah, of death and life are in the power of the tongue. Now that's God that said that. Yeah. And whether you like, whether you really like that or not, hey, that doesn't have nothing to do with it. Whether you like it or not doesn't change anything. Mm -hmm. that's right. It's what you do about it that yes. changes. Yes. Now I have to make a choice about what I think. I have to make a choice about what I see. I have to make a choice about what I say. I have to make a choice about who's running my life, me or God. Mm. Choose God. Thank Choose you. His way of doing things yeah. because you are His righteousness in Christ Jesus. Praise God. Hope you enjoyed today. We're going to pick it up tomorrow with some more information from our uh, parents in the Lord, brother and sister Copeland. So I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Stay tuned. Tell all your friends to join us. See you.